This business installed one of its solid-state batteries in a Tesla car. The battery gave it twice the range while weighing less than a Tesla car, practically twice as wide. And you can buy the battery now. You can purchase it by visiting their website right away. This is a fascinating tale because batteries are now being produced for residential and commercial energy storage, and a factory soon to be built in the US that will kickstart the solid-state battery revolution. You can purchase a 12 kilowatt hour solid state battery pack that will power your home's solid state batteries for energy storage for $20,000 or roughly $20 per week. I kid you not. I have to say that this is not what I was anticipating. I was shocked to hear this news. In terms of using solid state batteries in electric cars, we're still a good few years away. Regarding their technology, some businesses, in my opinion, are lying, while others, in my opinion, are not. They are being honest with you. I must admit that when I heard that the US battery manufacturer had recently unveiled a solid-state battery for energy storage systems in residential use applications, I was surprised. The fact that this company has come out of hiding with plans to produce solid-state batteries for residential and commercial installations only heightens the mystery surrounding this situation. We all anticipate that electric cars will use solid-state batteries. Nobody, in my opinion, really anticipated that they would become readily available for residential energy storage in such a short amount of time. Amtricity has announced the first solid-state battery for in-home energy storage, according to the company. Within the next 30 months, the company aims to deliver its first solid-state energy storage systems, which could power up to 400,000 homes or 4 gigawatt hour. Select customers can currently purchase commercial 1 megawatt hour demo units, and an announcement regarding full commercial production will be made in the coming weeks. This seems to be a go. It is actually taking place. The Florida-based company, which was founded in 2020 and has just two years under its belt, intends to construct its first U.S. manufacturing facility by 2024. In 2024, the company plans to start producing 4 gigawatt hours annually and increase that output to 16. Texas, Kansas, North Carolina, South Carolina, Arizona, and Tennessee are among the states where manufacturing facilities are being examined. Of course, the new IRA Inflation Reduction Act has aided businesses like this one in deciding to produce these batteries in the US. It's likely contributed to the timeline's acceleration as well. They will be able to start things off and move things forward with the additional investment. Since the IRA was announced, there has been a tremendous increase in investment across the board, not just in US-based facilities for making electric vehicles, but also in factories that make batteries. In fact, since the IRA was announced, more than $100 billion has been committed to being invested over the following 10 years. According to Amtricity, its next-generation battery technology offers an 8-hour discharge. Simultaneous charging and discharging, zero toxicity, 100% recyclable construction, complete functionality in both extremely hot and cold temperatures, and high energy storage efficiency with an annual retention rate of more than 96%. That is cutting edge for the industry. Cell capacities above 500 amp hours and up to 3000 amp hours with an 11,000 deep discharge cycle are features of its proprietary solid state batteries. According to them, these batteries have a charge cycle life of more than 11,000 before suffering significant battery degradation losses. According to the company, while typical residential systems use lithium ion batteries, which increase the risk of fire, their home energy storage systems produce greater safety and longevity. The company claims that its battery life is also three times longer than that of current lithium-ion technologies. The business is probably using that information from earlier technology now. Solar PV homeowners will love our solid-state energy storage systems because they offer superior performance and are non-explosive, non-flammable, non-toxic, and 100% recyclable. 
For example, last year in Texas, homeowners suffered blackouts and fatalities from a winter storm due to the power grid's fragility, said Damir Purge, CEO and co-founder of Amtricity. With Amtricity's solid-state technology, homeowners can store energy for backup power, whether they have solar PVs or not. On the company's website, solid-state energy storage systems ranging in size from 12 kilowatt batteries to 48 kilowatt batteries, as well as commercial systems with a capacity of 60 kilowatt hours to 80 kilowatt hours, are currently available for pre-order. Now, to put things in perspective, a 48 kilowatt hour battery is roughly the same size as the battery found in an electric vehicle. That is a lot. For the typical homeowner, that would likely be enough energy storage for 4 to 5 days, not likely to require that much. Typically, you would use these battery packs to store solar energy before using that battery to power your home and essentially eliminate all of your energy costs. These batteries have an enormous operating range from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. But before we reveal further details about this solid-state battery for home, please give a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video so far and keep on watching until the very end to find out what could be the prize. According to Amtricity, they are the only manufacturer of mass-produced solid-state batteries for residential and commercial energy storage in the entire world. The total cost of ownership is reportedly 50% lower than the competition. In a Tesla Model S, the company actually installed one of its battery packs. The battery weighed about 7% less than the one they removed. However, compared to the original Tesla Model S, which had a range of 380 kilometers, the energy density was 34% higher, the weight was reduced by 37 kilograms, and the range was increased to 750 kilometers. That represents a 97.4% increase. So, how much are the battery packs in reality? Well, yeah, they are very, very expensive. If you want a battery pack that's about the average size of the average electric car battery or the average Tesla battery pack, you're looking at a price of $102,000. What a large sum of money! That is a 60 kilowatt hour battery. Of course, smaller packs are less expensive. But even so, you can see why I believe my predictions may ultimately prove to be accurate. I still don't think that EVs will use solid-state batteries in large quantities, where they can justify charging a price like that. They'll start a small production line for luxury cars. In a supercar or luxury car costing $200,000 or $300,000, you can rationalize that kind of price. Can they justify charging such high prices for a cheap car? Can they bring the prices down that much? In my opinion, no. Because of this, I continue to believe that, for the next 10 years at least, these batteries will only be used for a few niche applications. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching, I'm Fred. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And speaking of Tesla, did you know that they have an LFP battery that will crush Toyota's solid-state battery? If you're interested in it, click and watch the next video here.